Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Namaste, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for joining oh, and accepting it's, it's, our invitation. It's a, it's a pleasure. No? It's always a pleasure to join the younger group. And, and, and our teaching community, you know, that's more important. Yes, sir. You know, we, we all belong to one family. Chemistry department, means I feel very, I feel uh, so much close to you, you know. We all, we all belong to the same uh, family. Yes, that's very important. That's why I'm uh, really happy. Yes. Sir. How are you? How are you? I'm good, sir. How is Jerry? Abhi, your phone dio. We will begin uh, in few minutes, sir. No problem. Everything, everything set up well. Yes, sir. Are you able to see my 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 video also? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Taruna. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay. Actually, I didn't have this uh, WebEx on my this thing. I had to download it and which it Thank you. Ma'am, Sarah has also joined us. Huh? Hi, I know. I've just seen, heard and yes, seen. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Anita. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. Hari Om. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Hari Om, Hari Om. I have, I always prefer to say hello because yeah very, sure. you know, good afternoon or good evening or good night all those things are unnecessary for me. <laughs> I just say hello it improves everything. Yes sir. And that is our our way of greeting each other now. Students, please unmute yourself. I would request everyone to mute yourself. Please keep yourselves on mute. Uh, Geeta ma'am, it's 3 p.m. Should we start? Uh, let's wait for one or two minutes only. 3, 2, we'll start. Okay. Is that fine, sir? Kuch teachers will join kar lenge na? Ananya? Okay, okay ma'am. Women's College? Yes, sir. What, yes, what, are sir. Various, what are the various courses you are having there? Sir, BSc Honors Chemistry, BSc Physical Science, Life Science, Microbiology, Geology Honors, Botany Honors, good, and good. Humanities, yes. as well as Commerce. So, Sentinel Bima, 
five five to six thousand rupees per per student only, is it not? For college strength, student strength. I'm not. Sorry, uh, sir, I'm not uh, getting uh, you. Uh, sir, uh, for uh, total college, strength is five thousand, uh, sir. Uh, uh, college student strength will be around five thousand or six thousand. Five you know? five thousand, sir. Ah, that's beautiful. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Dr. Vasudevan. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. Ananya, we no, let's start. Uh, Ghazal and Swati, we can start now. Okay. Thank you, Ananya. So, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, no, the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. A very good morning to everyone. I, Ghazal Chavri, on behalf of Rasgandhayan, the Chemical Society of Gagi College, extend a warm welcome to our Vasudevan sir, respected superannuated teachers, our faculty members, lab staff, family members of Dr. C.K. Khurana, and my dear friends, to our annual Dr. C.K. Khurana Memorial Lecture. There is no darkness so dense, so menacing, or so difficult that it cannot be overcome by light. On this note, let us begin our event with the lamp lighting ceremony. I will now request Ms. Swati to present the video. Thank you, Ms. Swati. We organize this lecture. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We organize this lecture annually to honor Dr. C.K. Khurana Ma'am. She joined Gagi College in 1967 and was the founder member of the chemistry department. She, along with other proficient faculty members, played a key role in molding the department to a better shape and bringing it to its present state. Her thorough knowledge of the subject and joyful demeanor made her an exceptional teacher. She dedicated 36 years of her life to our college with a remarkable efforts, dedication, and discipline. She was a trusted mentor and had the distinctive ability to fix any problem effortlessly. She spent her entire life showing kindness to all and spreading positivity. Her departure was unfortunate and her presence can never be replaced. We feel honored that we get the privilege to organize this lecture every year in her memory. Now, I would request respected Anita ma'am to say a few words in the memory of CK Kurana ma'am. Thank you, Gazal. Can you please all hear me? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're audible. Thank you, Gazal, a lot. As you have very beautifully framed in a few lines about completely about her. She was a pioneer to our department. She was a founder member. She built a chemistry and chemistry department. And she was a legend to our college. Gargi, whenever we speak for chemistry department, for Gargi, Dr. Kurana was the first name which will come to everyone's mind. She was a real legend. She was a real chemist. She was a real academician. She was a real mentor. And she was a real person who could reach out to everyone, not only to the teachers, her colleagues, even to the junior most member, even to the lab staff. And one clap of her could bring everyone around and everyone around, as you beautifully put it, in a very positive way. She never had any negative thought for anyone. She could only see the better half in around you. As she was a true daughter of a 
defense academician. Her father was the principal of IMA uh, Dehradun. She knew discipline. She knew dedication. She knew how to implement the best. Like she always used to tell us when we were very, very junior, she was like a motherly figure to us that why you have to say this glass of water is half empty. Always look that it is half full. And that is the message she used to give everybody. And she could bring around everyone around her, even the students, even the teachers, even the lab staff, and not only the chemistry department. She was roaring in Gargi in any department, in any corner of the thing. Even the peon at the gate used to salute her. And she was the one who used to stand and salute remarkably give the answer to the person irrespective of the if she were if the person was a peon or the principal or the office staff anyone was in an any kind of a personal official or a academic problem bhai mrs kurana ko bula lo abhi theek ho jayega and she was she used to run and say wah 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 pehle to chai piyenge to see thanda piyo she was a real punjabi to see garam piyo chalo ji gulab jamun khao pehle fer shuru karenge that was her way of dealing with things which brought everyone around to the table she made enemies friends and anyone who had any kind of differences she knew how to mellow down and mold everyone into the right direction and I will not take much time. She gave us the baton and we have taken forward her directions in the right way. And I would say her parents named her Chandrakanta Kurana. I wish they should have also said Surya Kanta because she was like a sunshine to our department who gave us all the positive energies. And she was full energy, but very, very unfortunately, God took her in a minute from us. Had she been there, we probably would have been more flying with wings, I think. But whenever we remember her, we have taken, we all, all the members of our department, all our colleagues, our seniors, our juniors, and our students have made chemistry departments Gagi College shining like a sun everywhere. Wherever we go, Gargi is known for the chemistry department. And chemistry is known for Mrs. Kurana. Really, really, truly from the heart and mind. And I think no member will have any doubt about it. I, we really all mean it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Anita, ma'am. Thank you. Moving forward, we are pleased to have Dr. R. Vasudevan, sir, as a special guest and honorable speaker of this event. Sir has been accredited for laying down 5,000 kilometers of plastic roads across the country. Dr. R. Vasudevan, sir, obtained his Bachelor of Science, Master of Science and PhD from Madras University. Currently, Sir is working as Dean ECA and Chemistry Professor in Thea Garajar College of Engineering, Madurai. He developed an innovative way to abate and reuse plastic waste to construct roads that are environment friendly, cost efficient, and even provide resistance to heavy rains. Sir has been attributed for his work in waste management and has been lauded by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi for his contribution. He has been conferred with the title of Plastic Man of India and awarded with India's fourth highest civilian honor, the Padma Shri Award. His devoted endeavors in introducing and further implementation of this transformative idea is a remarkable achievement in the field of waste management. Today, Dr. R. Vasudevan, sir, is present here to share his views on the subject of plastic waste management and further enlighten us with its significance. With this, 
Let us welcome Sir with gusto and gaiety. Before we begin, please keep yourselves on mute, everyone. If you have any questions, put them in the chat box. They will be taken up at the end of this session. Over to you, Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfectly audible. Ah, that's all. Chale ya. Yes. Thank you. Hari Om. Hari Om. Hari Om. I am very happy to be with you this evening, and uh, I'm thankful to Gita Sahani and other uh, wonderful introduction given by some our, our colleague. I'm more uh, uh, fascinated by the uh, details given about CK Corona. I feel very happy that I'm also associated with uh, such a great uh, person who has uh, devoted herself for the betterment of the chemistry, for the betterment of the department, and betterment of the college also. A devoted person like uh, CK Corona is very important for the country to develop more and more. I feel that I'm also associated with this in this regard. Thank you very much. And uh, more than that, I always love to talk to our uh, uh, students because they are the pillars of India. They are the, uh, the, the future of India. Therefore, the whole India depends upon more than the students. And there again, I will also say, uh, students, I always have the difference between uh, uh, boys and girls, the same. Girls have got the more fascination and uh, duty like work in this process. Therefore, I am I'm doubly happy that I am addressing the girl students of this college. Thank you. Um, with, this, uh, with the God blessings, we are happy to meet each other. I am going to talk about uh, my experience on uh, plastic waste management. Anyhow, uh, before I start to the topic, I would like to have a, something which may need a background for everybody to move in this direction. What do you mean by the background is? Very, very important. Anyhow, I'll, I'll come to that one by one. And as you have already beautifully presented an introduction, my, my uh, introduction may not be that much interesting, but anyhow, this is my guru who was, who is guiding me to every step of my growth was in science as well as research. And it is he who gave me many ideas for my development. So my pronouns to guru, my college, there are other college of engineering. I joined here in 1975. They, they still keep me in the college. I'm now 77. So that I, it is, but for their guidance, but for their help, but for sustained support for me, I could not reach this place. And uh, above all, my great students, Chandrasekhar and Kannan and Chandru, they're all with me for the past 15, 16 years. And uh, they helped me for all the development. Projects. So I must convey my thanks to them also. And my goal, my philosophy, sincerity, the work, with the faith in God, takes you beyond limitation. And of course, we have already seen the various aspects. I had a great chance of meeting our late Abdul Kalam in 2002. He is a motivator for me. He is the person who told me on that day it was the day you have touched the gold mine. One day you are going to get award. Your, your work is going to be recognized everybody. His words became true. What you see in all other photos are nothing but because of his blessings and words only. He only came. He only guided me. He gave a lot of idea. I had a three important meeting with him with a short span of two months and he gave various ideas how to develop my technology. And that has then subsequently he became my ambassador to wherever he goes, he talks about me. That brought me all the awards, the Hatak Icon Award or uh, the uh, King of Mayor Award and other things. So that's all. Um, and this is also another aspect of the, the media has taken me to a great extent. And now we have patterns which have been developed in 2000, 
uh, six, we got the first patent for the college also on the plastic road. And then we have the coding from the IRC, HRC, uh, actually. Now, recently, I have developed another product that is called Plastone, and we have the patent for that. And uh, very recently, about uh, uh, within a month, uh, I, I was uh, honored with the Doctor of Letters by the uh, University uh, Adinkia, University of Innovation, Pune. Very recently, so I have added one more information which you have not added there. So I'm very happy. So see, thing very small work I have done. God has blessed me so many awards. I don't know. I deserve to all those things, but it's all God's blessing because He only gives all those things. I never have seen those initiatives, but they have come up forward. They give such honors. So, so such service is always recognized by God, and. Uh, my department is also recognized by the government of uh, India, Ministry of Environment, Forest, Climatic Change. And we are the only uh, center for the um, plastic waste management, resource faster plastic waste management. And we are uh, one among the 65, and we give we do a lot of works and uh, under this, and all those things because of the small work that will recognition only. Now I come to my basic concept, the Mumbai. You must remember one thing before going to any experiment. Let us know what is who am who am I, and what is my duty to the world. Sagaya gya prata sushta puro vacha prata patehi ane ne prasharuttu miyasho vushta kamadu. Devan bhavay de devo bhavyanta parasparam bhavyanta kaste ka paramavasa. Gita says man and the world they are related. Man is an ambassador. He has to take care of the world. And uh, of the 84 lakhs living being, man is the only person who is to take care of other things. And when he does work right in the right way of living, the atmosphere becomes better. When the atmosphere becomes better, nature provides what man needs and not for the man greed. Remember? So the whole thing going on, this is I call it, I actually I call it circular economy. This is how, this is what the 5,000 years before Lord Krishna projected what is the cycle, and that we must try to remember. And see here, the, the, our, the whole plant kingdom, without it, can we live? The, it gives oxygen, it gives, it removes carbon dioxide, controls temperature, it, uh, and uh, gives all the herbal medicines are there, the monsoons comes and at different conditions, structural materials, biodiversity, provides eco-food. Without all these things, man cannot do. But today, what we are doing? We are disturbing every aspect of this. Man, though man is supposed to be friend, but what we do, see here, the, 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 the nature gives food, I give garbage. Nature gives water, I give sewage. Nature gives oxygen, I give carbon dioxide. Nature gives medicine, we, give, we only create COVID, chemicals, toxic waste, metal, scrap. Like that, what? What we do, yes, man pollutes. In, in fact, the, the, the mother earth's temperature has increased by 2 to 2.5 degrees. Who is taking care of her? Very important. Remember, this concept is, should be should remind your mind that is more important. Therefore, I say, change in attitude. Own your ownership. You have to improve by yourself. What is needed is, remember, creations are made by God. God creates no waste. I, re I repeat this statement. There is no question of waste. God never creates waste. Waste is, is man-made. Through the lack of his understanding and application, he doesn't understand the potential of the material. Once he understands the potential, it can be converted into very many uses. So rethink, very important. A small plastic, we have developed some small, wonderful product because understanding the great potential of the plastic, so, attitudinal change is very important. Remember my responsibility to the world. Remember you are the ambassador in the world. You are the, you, you are the representative of God to safeguard the world. We should not pollute. We should not create uh, the inconvenience to the animals, birds, etc. Let us try to think differently. And our attitude should be service to sacrifice. This is the most important background on which you have education grow, our knowledge should grow, our heart to grow. That is very, very important. So here, so now so you will come to the inspiration. How to do? As a student, inspire to innovate through research. 
very, very important. Inspiration, innovation is how it should be. It should be actually appropriate research. It should be bio-friendly. It should be socially relevant. It should be recognized. It should be recognized such a work. And therefore, love to learn, identify your passion, sincerity in the work. And very important, express, don't expect. Always express yourself. If you expect, you get only disappointment. Let us try to do sincere work. We can achieve great things. And profession is shortly. Passion is long -lived. Today I'm still in the job, even with a passion. Even today I say, I have so many work to be done. Please come to me. We will all join together to that. Right? What? There is no limit for us. There is no limit for passion to develop more and more of work. That's what higher knowledge may be, may, may improve the depth of understanding, but it may give position pride. But here, here is the recognition that you have when you go to the, when you work for the common man, when you work for the people. So what is needed is awareness, social awareness is very important. Live with the people, try to understand the problem of the people. How much I can talk, how much I can solve the problem. Practical way of thinking is equally important. And questioning why in a classroom, don't sit idle. Why, ask why question, why this is the, why it is so? And once you understand, there is a will to do. Therefore, Gita says, Tadvindi Pranipadhe na Karipasthe na Sevaya, Upadesha Dindhe Tinganam, Tattva Darsanaha. So you have to question, you have to discuss the teacher and try to find out more and more, so that you understand many more. Today, we have so many things, as a problem, I can say. Now I'm going to say a certain part of it. Have you, just to see, have you observed these things? Use of LPG gas at over six years. What do you know about that? You may know chemistry, the gas is uh, 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 propane and butane like that. Whether this technology is allowed or not. LPG gas we use and 50% only is used as a heater. The 50% gas waste, it is burned unnecessarily because of improper design of the cooker, improper design of the vessel, improper design of the burner. No, no industry will allow a, a, a wastage of 50%, but every house we do that. Have you ever observed for the past 50 years, same design, same thing, something going on, nobody bothers about. And I can say the most important pollution for the carbon dioxide is more due to the LPG gas than we use. Because 50 percent is wasted. We use one kilogram, one kilogram of gas, three kilograms of carbon dioxide is produced. So unnecessarily every day we cook and we unnecessarily waste a lot of energy. And if you could design properly a cooker and a burner, we can increase the efficiency by 90 percent. I have already done that. So therefore, this is a, this is this thing to think about it. Use of toothpaste. How many of you know what toothpaste you use? What to and uh, why you use? Do you know think about that? What it contains? Do you know that? Is this good or not? You know, on some of the toothpaste we use it contains a lot of calcium carbonate. When you spit, you only pollute the atmosphere. Can you? Why should you use it? We have to change our habit. We have to question it and find out. This is a told you pressure cooker design, burner design. Why not I use? In fact, uh, I was one in, uh, in the early days of 2000, I was in Delhi and I was presenting a project there. On the way, I could see some people carrying wood on the field till they were using it. And why not we use wood as a field? Because we don't use because of the combustion characteristic of the wood field, but wood is more safe because wood when it burns, as a chemist, you can understand wood can it burn, it only car produces carbon and heat. It never produces carbon dioxide. Unless the coal is heated, the wood will will give only carbon. Carbon will not pollute that mass, it gets settled. Whereas only carbon dioxide is a, a global warming gas. So wood can be used. Wood is uh, India has got 30% waste wood, which can if you use that, you can reduce the fuel or uh, petroleum intake, everything. But, but we have designed the burner for that, we have designed a hearth for that. This is what should be done more. Electricity, and I I, I, I could see one 
the one school student when I was talking to the to them, he said, "Sir, I can chant your cell using your speech. The speech will be connected to the wire and say, I will put it in the cell and get it. So that is what is going on. So use of solar energy, e-waste, all these things are before us. Let us think about how best we can involve this and what I have done in my life. So the small uh, life period has been given. I have taken plastics." Or the films, cups, forms, etc. We have found out in the use of material like road blocks, etc. I have, I have made the seeds available locally, Madurai range. When the seeds can be converted into biosphere, we have developed it. And we have developed the seaweed, the seaweed I have developed. And using that, I have developed a medicine for wounds, especially for diabetes wound, Alzheimer. And uh, the organic ways we are developing a method called, and we will do uh, manure converted. And waste rubber, we are developing a modified vitamin using waste rubber, and uh, we are using, find, using for track, ceramic. So many ways we are trying to do. So my lab is work, working with all this direction. Therefore, I say they are not innovation, they are innovation. India needs such innovation to improve our economic condition. Therefore, let us work in this direction. And uh, my hands on waste has taken so many things I have just here because you are the young energetic chemistry student. You can also think about it. I'm, I'm one among the you only. You can also think. These solid waste which are available, we have made rubber, uh, mass, uh, municipal solid waste, fire, ceramic, gypsum, slag, cups, pets, thermocool, biodiesel, biodiesel, all those things we have developed, we have used, find out into small purposes for various end uses. And uh, there is no distinction, chemistry department is alone. It can work for any department. I have worked with the civil department for, for my own success. I have worked with the chemical medical department for the alginate development. I have developed the uh, rod, corrosion resistant rod using plastic, the chemical energy, plastic waste, you know, road, fuel, biodiesel. So that's all. Every department, interdepartment is very, very important. We can do a lot of work. So with this, I come to the current situation. Now, what is current scenario? That is why let us understand about that. Before World War, after World War. So you were you you mentioned 100 years, you are celebrating your macro molecule. Now why it comes, how it comes, why it comes. Nothing comes out of nothing. That is the reason for everything. Before the World War, people are living very happily, stable life, family profession, enriched village, not much of pollution. People are very happy. But after the World War, what happened? Suddenly, there's a development of technology and industrial centers develop and uh, urban centers develop. Multiple, multi-story buildings going on, developing like anything. And what happens? Because of that, what are the, the, the effect of these development has only resulted in demand for wood, demand for metal, ceramics, adhesive, manpower, material. So what the, that has resulted in, you demand for food, that de deforestation. There are then loss of cultivable land. Well, manpower, village, people move to a city, loss of cultivation and culture, and that results in pollution of the air, water, land. So, so small change in our, in our attitude of industrial revolution. This, uh, we, we, after all, what has happened this year? It only helps to improve our standard of living. Standard of life has improved or not, I don't know much about it. But to improve our standard of living, we are doing something, but ultimately it results in, in the exploit of the environment and the nature. With the result, see the growth of industries, your city with the concrete jungles and water bodies have been dried now and been used for construction and exploitation, natural resources, wood and uh, many materials that process migration of people, village centered, urban centers, pollution and solid waste disposal. Now we, we also create a waste and then we say talk, we talk about waste management. We got so many, so many departments to look into the waste department. Who is created? I only created and we only created. See here, the effect of urbanization. A beautiful forest has been converted to multi-story concrete jungle. What has happened? Gas, indian gas we use, results in global warming. Toothpaste, water pollution, fuel global warming, water, we have grey water and sewage water pollution. Car tires going on increasing tires, mobile or automobile going on increasing. What to do? What to deposit the waste tire? How to reuse the waste tire? 
This is a little technique. Again, the Bandem word. In the year 2008, people from Netherlands came to me, sir, can you find a method for disposing the world? Sir, we are only boarding it. Global warming. He was multiplying like anything. We are going on and doing like that. So, again, how to, how to, how we are going to tackle all the problems? Concrete. We, the students, you, the students, they can think about for everything. You have the solution. If you go in the right direction, you can't find solution. You can make the world better. Concrete debris. Uh, road scrap, and so solid waste. I said, we are only creating because of the uh, urbanization. What we have done, after all, India has got about more than 60,000 villages, 70 percent of village people, and a few cities only. The few cities contribute so much, and that creates a bad life and internal life villages all too. So, what happened? Now, Gita says, Pida Hamasi Jagdo Mata Dhata Pidamta. God says, I'm the Pida. As the, as the father takes care of the children, the, the God has to, has to take care of the whole world. So the rule of the world is live in coordination with nature and environment. That is law. If that is that is a question that is not followed, today what happened? Natural law is deviated. Nature is trying to maintain the equality. But what happened? I come and help you. I will come. You have the greater problem. Because of the industrialization, you have created a problem not only to you, but also to all the living beings. So I must come and help you. How I can come? I come here as a plastic. I even consider plastic is an avatar. Plastic is God's gift. Plastic has come to the world. How it come? It has come to a displacement for wood. It has come to this place of paper. It has come to displacement for the you know metal. For whatever mentioned, you mentioned. Now plastic, you go plastic, everything wherever you see your your the point point print is plastic, or table notebook is plastic, or computer is plastic. You see wherever you see, you see one plastic. And it is it is because of the kindness of the God. God, you get everything, and that has helped now. Poor man has become poor man's need. Plastic has become poor man because the structural material infrastructure become very cheap. Your chair, everything, your your bucket, your mug, your bag become cheaper. Poor man's need. Common man's friend. See, the, all our material our friends we have got only plastic. And uh, rich man's uh, uh, fancy. You know, he has uh, from um, uh, sells so many things only. He has only in plastic. And the waste time, it also helps nature's protection. So substitution material structure takes place. So people have got inspired more technology. India has got more than lakhs, lakhs of people working in the polymer technology. So how well they get. If it is bad, well, they will go. So that's very important. So plastic is very important. And uh, within 75 years, it has expanded very well. Plastic saves energy because the vehicle weight is become so small. The other weight is less. Therefore, can the um, fuel consumption reduce? Uh, you normally I used to even uh, say in a right of mind. Oh, in the early days of uh, to the, 90, the latter part of 90s, 19, I was one day I was traveling a scooter, I was knocked by Maruti, but I got up and drove home uh, because the, the, the one that knocked me is Maruti, which is almost a plastic car, which is not a weightless car. Otherwise, the, today I could not talk to you. So, plastic says energy, plastic says carbon, plastic says lives. You see, over COVID, you see only plastic. And uh, plastic save fuel, and 50% uh, of fuel can be saved. And the manufacturing now, plastic saves water. So, plastic is a wonderful material. God's given mainly to environment, to safety of the environment is very important. God has taken it and brought it that way. Don't think plastic is away. Plastic is the most useful way. Can you say, can you say, I have taken plastic, therefore I have died? No, it is no such thing taking place. And see here, what are the plastic you use? You use every water. What I've shown here is what day to day uh, biscuits, uh, 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 kurkures, all fancy food, food dry fruits, etc. etc. Cup, carry bag, parcel cover, milk pot, filling, foam, chocolate covers, body cover, biscuit cover. What about with all the day to day living comes into a day to day life? 
Baka, how can you avoid this? This is a very important material. And they sell up to the event by polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene foam, and laminated one day. This is either monolayer or multilayer material. Monolayer, virgin material. It is mono multilayer, maybe uh, aluminium, polyethylene, and polyester. On the whole, they say these are the materials we are very much in use. And they are made up of only polyethylene, polypropylene, and And um, see that uh, the table. These are having a softening temperature around 100 to 140, 150 only. The plastic can be heated, softened. I'm not burning it, remember that. I repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. this part. I take the plastic and heat it, soften it, melt it, molten condition. It can be done very easily, at, even at 140 degrees. Therefore, the most useful plastic has got a most useful property called softening lower temperature. And people are go and cry, but plastic is not biodegradable. Thousands of years take, let it take, what do you bother about it? God fixed date for everything. Your food can, should decompose one day. Organ leaves for a few months, wood for a few months. But can you think about gold? Is it not uh, uh, by non, non biodegradable? Can you think gold is biodegradable? What will happen then? A stone, which is used for whole construction, the whole construction done only by the stone. If it is biodegradable, what will happen? Diamond, platinum, none of these are the same materials are not bad in the world, which are important once you understand gold, we know the value we use it. Diamond, we understand value we use it. So we, we understand and we use it for, for construction material. Similarly, plastic is a wonderful material, a binder, a substitute cement. It can be used for very many construction material like road, plaster, and roofing. I'm going to talk more about these things. So understand the potential of each material. Don't say it is, no, why it is coming with all the problem? It's all because our own problem. Why the problem? Man-made. So the, the girl who is traveling the car just throws away the plastic word on the road. So like that, you see, I, uh, normally I used to keep uh, chocolate at my table. Always you can see, I can always keep chocolate on my table. And you now whoever comes, I used to give chocolate. And I also keep uh, a dustbin on my, see, a dustbin on my table. So I, anybody comes, I give chocolate and wait what he do, what he does. But actually, he takes the chocolate and uh, crush the paper and keep it on my table. Never is the dustbin. The habit of using dustbin is not there. So I have kept dustbin not on the table on both sides. This is a culture. The bad garbage culture of ourselves is a problem. That creates all the all the importance over marine debris, water canal debris, etc. Everything comes. So the, 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 on the whole, it is man-made problem, nothing else. Andrew, and that. Uh, and so, similarly, uh, marine debris, people who, again, who will cry about marine debris? What are the marine debris? Bis uh, cigarette, uh, cigarette uh, butts, chocolates, bottles, and carry bags, and nets. So, who, who is responsible? Do you mean say, uh, fish are smoking? Fish are taking chocolate? They carry water and water. No, we the people carry. We the people who smoke. We only throw these materials in this cemetery on the sea and create the problem to the sea living animals. And uh, the net we use to cast these animals and we once it is not okay, we throw it at the place. Therefore, all those things problems created by our, ourselves. It is not, it is our plastic and it is our problem. The sawdust and hygienic and uh, all those things, I saw another thing. I throw it in this image, some car with the I saw. I throw food in a plastic and keeping food in the plastic and throw it, animals come and eat it. They don't know how to separate it. Don't they, so don't say animals eat that for them. Plastic demand, it is your, the man who is, who is the waste here in the man, he is the only creating all the problem. Therefore, plastic is not unhygienic. Plastic is not, if it is hygienic, unhygienic, how plastic will be used for COVID people? How we are, the, the, the people are using for protecting themselves, plastic. Therefore, it is not the plastic hazard, it is not the plastic unhygienic. We create, we give a wrong name to that and create the problem. See here, the, um, the manufacturers, industry, Produce the material, market it, and they're interested only market it, forget it. They never bother about 
what happened to for example a toothpaste giver the toothpaste container it comes on the road a yeah. ball point pen you know the refill alone one black pen is available in the, in the road so why see you don't collect it and uh, consumers we use it we don't know what to do we throw it on the road and forget it the government collected dumps in forget it if that be the case what happened in india it is the carelessness of ourselves we careless and carelessness that creates all the problem for us and uh, indro tada 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 uh, please wait i'm just the slide is not moving i'm just uh, Make arrangement. Yes, sir. Please take your time. Please, 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 Till today, it's working so well. No pothole, no crack, nothing developed. We have the, developed the, uh, using plaster, using it as constructed um, toilet, and we have developed polymer modified vitamins. And therefore, plastic are low. How it comes? So, what is the specialty of that? We use only waste plastic. We use only polythene, polypropylene, polystyrene. Bags, films, thickness of the maximum of 100 micro, nothing else. Using that, we are laying the plastic door. You get a road which is 15 years, which can stand 50 years. No, no pothole, no cracking. And we are to the extent of plastic garden, I am able to reduce the vitamin consumption. Cost of the road less. And once the plastic is separated, the organic matter can be under manure. And it gets a job for the sulfur group, and then rat pickers also can very much import and see the plastic nature. Know your plastic more important. The plastic uh, we got, uh, as I told you, carry bags, biscuit covers, and the chocolate covers, everything. Their thermal stability up to 250. If they uh, they are softening around 140, 150 degree. There is no toxic nature for that. There is no when I use polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene, no dioxin comes out. There is no chlorine, therefore no dioxin. Therefore, it has a wonderful, remember that, the wonderful binding property. That property here, I see here, you saw the aggregate is taken, add to the plastic, the waste plastic, and uh, mixed very well and heated to 140 degree, and uh, this is compressed. You get a beautiful product called the plastone, and you can see the plastone at my hand. This is the plastone, the small plastic. This can be stand. Uh, uh, 300 times lower, 10 times stronger than our concrete. And we have developed very many products using this, and uh, that products are very, very useful. See here, I have developed plaster. This is what is called plaster. This can be used for, for not only for uh, house construction, but so many problems are there. So the thing is, it is a plastic that is responsible. It is a plastic that helps with the binding to give a beautiful product like this. And they don't have any toxic property. And uh, the plastic, once coated on the stone, it improves the stone characteristic. Like this is a, more of a civil engineering concept. Still, you can understand the quality of the stone is improved. The voids are filled. The, the, there is no water accumulation there. No abrasions is improved in the process. And uh, there is no defrost aggregation in my process. You can use all single use plastic and uh, there is no need to segregate separately. Everything can be together. What I need is only dry it, dry it, dry it, nothing else. Put it on the sun, you can dry it. And there's no even cleaning is necessary. Drying and shedding it. Shedding, uh, there is a machine available, shedding machine. You shed it to the size of 2 mm to 4 mm and uh, use it for road construction. So collect, collect it, dry it, shed it, use it. So in the process, 
no carbon dioxide at all. Therefore, we are saving the environment by using the plastic forward construction. This is a process which is a patented. This is a process which has got me by Padmasri. This is a process which has made me, you made you to invite me. So what is that? Very simple. The aggregate is taken and heated. The aggregate is nothing but the stone. It is heated to 170 degree and to the, to the hot aggregate. See here on my hand. I have got the, the plastic, shattered plastic. You, you may be able to see this, uh, the, the shattered plastic. It, this is a mixture of all so, multiple solid waste. can be multi-layer, mono-layer, other layer. This, the calculated quantity, this is added. And uh, 17 degree, uh, added immediately, the plastic melts and pours the stone within 30 seconds. And uh, over that, you have the vitamin now. Now the vitamin just add one six degree, mix it. 30 seconds extra, mix it and lay the road. The road is wonderful. The road is on 15 years. And uh, if you remember, you, the our, uh, chocolate cover, good cover, is a better road than a uh, carry bag road. Therefore, very important. All your uh, <coughs> multi layers cannot be recycled because it contains more layers. Whereas multi layers can be very well used for road construction. All is uh, uh, effectively can be used. See here the condition. Temperature 1 degree, 1.7 degree, shedding, uh, shedding size 2 mm to 4 mm, thickness up to 90 or 100 micron, type of plastic, mono, multi, multi layer, etc. Temperature 160. Therefore, the temperature, working temperature, no decomposition, no gas involved, beautifully demand. I can lay the road at all conditions, heavy rain, and, uh, temperature more. Whole condition at uh, zero level, anything you can do. Wonderful. This process is very successful. And see the salient feature of the road. Strength of the road increased and uh, it is doubled. Actually, normally we need only 1,000. We now just have 2,500. No pothole, no rutting. Withstanding heavy load, decrease vitamin consumption, consumption cost reduced, value to additional plastic waste. Now the plastic waste, one kilo, cost about 30 degrees. Nil maintenance of 10 years more well, for every year. India spends not less than 3,000 to 5,000 crores of um, money for maintenance. Now, nothing is required now. No effect radiation because like, the sunlight will not have any effect. There are no microplastic evolution. Life, the life of the road is double. Cost is less. Performance is very good. And uh, what type of plastic is used? Multi life frames are used. No, no new machine is required. Existing machine only we are trying to find out. No industrial involvement, no granulation, eco friendly process. One this stone is coated, vitamin, nothing is added. I don't modify the vitamin. And there is a value addition to plastic waste. No need for life filling and incineration. Incineration only increases the carbon dioxide content. Therefore, we can very easily use this for plastic road construction. And see here, India has got 46 lakh kilometers road. For the 46 lakh kilometer road, how much of plastic you know? Now I need for one kilometer road, single layer, I need one ton of plastic. One ton of plastic means 10 lakhs carry bag I use in one kilometer single layer. India has got 46 lakh kilometer multi layer. I need not less than 200 lakh tons of plastic for the road alone. India has got only 5.6, so 5.1 million only. Much less, what you need 200 trucks, we have got only 5.6 billion. So, plastic available is much less. That's for what is the need to ban it? Collect the plastic, use it for road. You got a better road. You got under uh, your um, rural road, you have got about 25 lakh kilometers rural road. Make it successful to use plastic road, your road, and uh, you can have um, smart villages in the farm. And that's very important. Therefore, we save a lot of money in the process by saving the vitamin. We don't produce carbon dioxide. Therefore, environment is saved also. But this is all technology. And they come see the plastic road. They have laid now to all over, all over India, more than two last kilometers right. Now the border roads are being laid by uh, the, our army people. They are laid. Border road also there. And many, more than 12 states, they are, they are constructing this plastic road everywhere. Many other countries also have gone, like Bhutan is there, they have signed an sign and, um, um, MOU with other countries also. I was offered $300 million by states. They want to take this technology. I said, no, I don't want your money. I'm giving to this, this 
technology to my country freely. I give one into the, the technology to give now. That is a pattern, that is a road. And I, I had a discussion with the Prime Minister in 2015 on October 2nd. So this road is very good. And he said, Was there? I know about it. I will implement it. So he has already taken immediate measures in the uh, November 9th. I got a communication here for the only plastic road there. Therefore, the government is very positive. The technology is very simple. Therefore, it can be the technology of road laying can be very successfully implemented. We can also develop another product called a plastone. The for the plastone, I use only stone and plastic, nothing else. It can be stone, it can be granite stone, it can be uh, limestone, it can be uh, cer ceramic stone, it can any solid waste, strong waste, it can be used. And using plastic, we develop a product and there is no sand, no cement, no water, no aggressive, no vitamin required. So everything, two ways made a wonderful product. This product can be stand 300 tons load. An elephant can walk on there, nothing will happen to this. So wonderful material. And you can use this material for very many purposes. See here, we have constructed toilet. And the toilet costs about only 12,000 rupees. And we are also using many other industrial waste, limestone, lime powder, fire, heat waste, rubber, redox, and all these in the, in the development of this stone. Therefore, on one side, waste is being used. Otherwise, we are able to get a wonderful product called the um, plaster, which is very now the government is asking this material for constructing low cost house also. So, our plaster can be used as a potty block, as a bevel block. Or water canal lining, comfort wall, portables, lawn floor, bricks, hollow bricks, rail sweeper, portable receiver, what not, tabletop. We name the product, I get the material from the plastic way. No problem for the plaster alone, for the roadway, roadside, pathway block alone, I need again another need of, um, uh, of plastic, not less than again another 200 lakhs tons are required. Already for road 200, another project block 200. I think going on increasing the need of the plastic, but the availability is much, 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 much less here. Yeah. See here, we have also developed technology like scrap, where the already existing road scrapped the top layer, 50% keep it, 50% modified, plastic modified. Mix this to lay the road. The cost of the road is reduced by 50%. On the same life period, road height is not increased. Wonderful. This is being appreciated to the central government. They are also taking it. And we have developed poly polymer modified material. I was invited to America and they wanted the material for road which can withstand zero degree. We have developed a cold process which can, we are using which I can lay the road even at zero degree, nothing will happen. We have modified the roofing material for a poor man using waste plastic, whose life is increased. As, as a chemist, you can understand corrosion. I only undergo corrosion easily. What I do is I coat the plastic over the over the iron rod and heat it around 600 degree. This uh, surface uh, plastic converts to carbon and reacts with the surface iron and cemented is being formed. That cemented products protects it from corrosion. Therefore, waste plastic is for the purpose. Therefore, but there is many, many uses of this plastic. Therefore, say circular economy is nothing but the, the, the uh, single use plastic, the reduce and design, use it. Vendors for responsibility there, users responsibility there, EPR industry responds there, and government will if they do their responsibility properly, yes, there is no question of sort of plastic problem. And uh, you know, you have now COVID, COVID has made us to understand the importance of environmental. So what, what is the ultimate effect of COVID? You know, I look differently. COVID is also, I can say, messengers sent by God. Because when we have not followed, even after giving a plastic, we have not care about the environment. So during the COVID period, what has happened? All, all our house arrested. We have, well, the work at home means what? House arrested. And the industries are closed. And uh, travel, tra transportation stop. So these are the three factors which pollute the atmosphere. God made all the three to say to say Allah to separately. That our first effect is that is very important. And then we use plastic in the form of uh, gloves, PP, etc. So again, plastic importance has increased now. And on the whole, by the COVID, what is the ultimate result is less pollution. River pollution reduced, the animals start burning. Therefore, I, I consider COVID is a warning sent by God to, uh, to know about, the, to safeguard the nature the proper way. 
But that is a plastic. You see, same got the nature effectively understand about that. Therefore, we have many, many road work but done in this way. And uh, in the in future also, as a chemist, you can understand the need of this research work. We have to so normally in plastic we use plasticizer. This plastic dominant toxic plasticizer, and they are creating some problems in only in a in, a, in a electronic gadgets, not the conventional. Or uh, this is not available. Or toxic plastic is not there. In our carry bag bottle. Don't bother about all this. They are all very safe material. Carry bag or water bottle. Nothing. No no fear about that. Using it. Use it. But when you go to electronic gadgets. Toxic, toxic gas plastics. Uh, try to find out non-toxic plastics. Uh, try to build up in line in world material for biodecomposition. Also, we need not have multi-layer uh, packing for a uh, chocolate. We can have a two packet, two packet, three packet system. Put one packet, uh, aluminum packet, put the chocolate. That packet put in a polyethylene packet. Another one in the, the, the uh, polyester. We can when you open it three separately and put it three different uh, dustbin are going to save, the recycling is possible. Therefore, in, a, in, the, in the case of toothbrush, I say, why should the head can be dismantled as we detach the toothpaste head? We use tooth, toothbrush for, for three months. After you throw away, your toothbrush comes about nearly 80 to 90 grams plastic that is wasted. Instead, I say, what well, you head can be separated. The stem can be capsulated and the head can be changed once in three months. One year you can use the same head, you can reduce at the same time, you can effectively manage the whole plastic. These are the technology to be developed in the future also. And see, one plastic road has helped so many things. Solid waste management, plastic society, important friendship, growth industry job, and better road for 15 years and economically friendly, made after all, it is made in India. Successful scientific method we have done, economically viable. And uh, therefore, we have developed roofing, plastic road, plastic polymer modified, between corrosive resistant rock, core, all those things from the simple same plastic way, which is a, a single-use plastic ban. No, it is the one which is used, we are used the road, road for cold region, road for any place, road for forest, road for cold, cold countries, road for scrap, and we have plastic for tiles, tables, hollow, hollow blocks, rail seat by speed break so on. And plus to only use a construction of low cost toilet, we use for uh, we are using finding using our limestone ceramic cables, break in a break landing and construction way. Therefore, then these are all very simple technique. But that simple technique has given me plastic man of India title and has given me tax account and the world. But after all, I always say, I introduce myself simply. Your ways become useful because of another way. The first way is myself. And I saw the waste plastic and now I convert into useful. Now I also become useful. Therefore, it is only our approach, understanding the potential is important. See here. Ultimately, this is what we are Plastic is useful for my friend. After that, we use, we use plastic and we convert it for road, etc. What is needed is, what is lacking is garbage culture. This small child has shown us how it should be the garbage culture. Let us understand. Say no to plastic pollution, but say yes to plastic because it's the most useful plastic in this respect. And I would like to add some more aspect to, the, to think about. Now, the government says use, you must use only 120 micron. Why? I have my own question here. If you use, after all, plastic bag you use to carry some fruits, flowers, etc., etc. Even a 20 micron bag is sufficient. When you go to 120 micron, six times you are increasing consumption of plastic. No need. What do you need is 20. Why you go to 120 micron? When the thickness increases, the people say, think that we will keep it intact. We will not throw it. Our culture is this. They cannot change. But 20 micron, if you use, it suffices the problem. At the same time, that all the plastic can be effectively used for road construction. Therefore, the change in thickness is not important in the process. And uh, you are talking about alternate material. You may talk about paper, jute, cloth, aluminum, etc. But with the country, the requirement is for cement industry, sugar industry, fertilizer, medicine, fertilizer. You can't satisfy the need and availability is less. And there are other losses, other losses also. 
Therefore, this cannot substitute plastic. We can we can find a use of the, these materials are also. This cannot substitute it. Therefore, let us understand the plastic is useful. When we use the plastic, then it also save the our oil for production. That we know that when nobody said plastic is a way. See the end of the union union the environmental process say plastic is a molecular material. Plastic is not a problem. Whereas our honor our prime minister says we mitigate through the awareness. Therefore, plastic is not a problem. But in the future, we cannot have a, a, a municipal solid waste center. We must try to find our put in our own house, collect it, and then find out method of that can be part that is possible also. And uh, the, uh, the circular economy should be extremely linear, should be circular, and uh, the role of everybody is important. So uh, in the individual, institute, industry, everybody has got a role. And we need our ownership is important. It should work for the for the innovation and for appropriate technology develop your technique. Industry should help the institute in many respects to develop such things. And above all, our garbage culture is very important. And uh, domestic people, awareness is needed to collect properly. Industry should use their might in the CSR repair form to collect and give it to the road lay. Government should implement the technology, very important. And uh, also, I was I, I was only a lecturer in the chemistry department and third of the college engineering, but I had a great chance of meeting uh, our late president Abdul Kalam. I was uh, invited by Prime Minister. I was given a publicity. I was invited to USA. I've been to Malaysia, Indonesia. All these things because the less plastic the more that one we can do wonderful material. And this is very important. I uh, uh, slide and say. Krishna has got a flute and pick up. Why he's got? What is the flute? It's a straw. It is a wooden piece and uh, it's the best material. It's the best material. But when you put nine holes over that and the nine holes, it, it, when it goes to Krishna's hand, it produces beautiful music and the whole flute, it becomes vertical, vertical bar, and it becomes so interesting. The best when it goes to the correct person, it becomes wonderful. And nine holes represents now nine holes in the body. When we go to Krishna and pray, he will show the potential of the next material also. And the pika, is, otherwise, otherwise it doesn't have much use. Beautiful to look at it. But when you keep in the, uh, in the, in the crown of the, the Lord, it is again wonderfully understood. So remember, in short, God blessing. Plastic man, man create, man created God blessing, plastic, man created waste, and man exploitation, nature, world versus the problem. So God's creation cannot be waste. Don't try to escape from problems. Solutions are many. Think differently and right in the world. Conquer your mind. Be a friend to you and to your world. You can achieve everything. See here, the, the man writing plastic band. The board is plastic. The paint is plastic. This, he sits in a stool of plastic. He wears a polyester and writing a band. It is an island. This is, this is island, island, the reality in case. I talk about this. It is not true. I remember that. And therefore, God gives a chance to change you. Here is a chance for you to change yourself. And uh, life is beautiful. Make it useful. Life is a chain of action and reaction. Life is you. As you see, as you perceive, life is service and truth and sacrifice. Life is a process of evolution. Please understand, act, and you are the ambassador. You can do great things. And one, one auto rickshaw man in my play said, Sir, what should do? he put road in the plant on the backside? Don't throw plastic on road. Use road, plastic on far road. That is the technology important. That is the awareness important. Very, very important. So I say, Brahma created plastic, but uh, Shiva had to show me the decomposition. Vishnu showed me how to use it for various ways. And we have developed very many methods and uh, we have used that as well. And many people have come in. And when I started the work, I didn't have a single price I started the whole technology from a house, household utensils only. Today, my lab was about three crores all because of the plastic only. The chemistry department becomes more important for the engineering college because of that. Remember, the same chemistry department, which was considered to be an excellent department, has become a most important because it is one where you got almost all the things. Therefore, remember, the rule of life, rule of life, we say, oh, Pranabam, we say, it is nothing but A, U, U, A for absolute, U for universe, man, M for man. A good coordination of all, God, universe, and man only can live better life. Think about this. If you think about this, you will also be make yourself useful to the world. 
and chemistry is the most important topic in the world. I can say without the chemistry, you can't understand what is good, what is every material which you use day to day life. Understanding chemistry is important. Therefore, chemistry, the students of chemistry, feel proud. You are, you can do great things. The environmental uh, the can be purified or improved more by the involvement of the chemistry people. I hope you will understand this and try to develop it. Thank you very much. Arivo. Hello. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You. <laughs> it was such an enlightening lecture. You've prompted all of us to work at our level best to make a change. Now, the stage is open for questions. You can put them in the chat box and I'll read it for a few minutes. Yes, yes. That's a, yes, that is better. But now I want to see you, Quantan. <laughs> Gazal Zawas. How do you pronounce your name? Sir, it's Gazal. Gazal. Gazal Chavri. <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the content of the lecture. Sir, it was so enlightening. It, it was so encouraging. Seriously, sir. Sir, some students might be having some questions. Will you please, take it now? Yes, please, sir. please, please. Guys, you can write your questions here. Sir, so Preeti is asking if there is any internship program for undergraduates related to plastic waste management. Um, if you are interested, we can arrange. No problem. And sir, Ikra is asking that what are your plans on taking plastic to different levels? It is wonderful starting material. I can take it for a uh, uh, road, I can take it for tabletop, I can take it for house. My ultimate visit. Now the government is asking me to give it for a low cost house because this is bulletproof and uh, this is the actual standing proof. Therefore, for North India, they want to use this for construction of these materials for uh, housing. So, probably it, it, it is going to that level. There's actually no limit. You can have any, any many products from that. And after all, what I need is plastic. Please give me plastic. That is no, I, I don't have enough plastic, please. I, I need more, more plastic. That is more important. Thank you. So, uh, Priya ma'am has a question. How can everyone of this program be brought to the school level? Uh, I'm not able to follow you. Please, please. So, read I'll, I'll read it again. Uh, I don't How... see you. I don't see you. Gazal, so, switch on your yes. camera. Yes. Sir. Priya ma'am is asking. Please, how please, can uh, awareness uh, of uh, this what, program? What, uh, what's the question? How can awareness of this program be brought to the school level? Ah, you are the great people, you know. You are you can go. Now you have taken the message. You want to give any material what I will give you. You go to the you go to the school. I go to the school. I ask, I talk to the student, and especially I, I go to the government school. Talk to the student. Explain everything. So plastic is not a problem. So bring the plastic to from the school. Put it to the school where you have the NSS organization. They will collect all the plastic and give it to the people who can shed it and for road construction. This is we are doing at Madurai. 30, 35,000 students are involved in the process. You like that, you can do wonderful work. It is ultimately it is a student alone can do. They can only create awareness. Because the middle class and an upper middle class people, mindset is always there. They are not interested. But when you understand the important, please I request you what I can I can also join in your movement where whenever you call me, I will come over the, the this type of uh, communication method. I will talk to you also. If that is a beautiful question, I say. This is, I appreciate this question because the, the, this is what we need. You have to check, take the message to the public and you can do it definitely, please. Sir, Priya, uh, Priya ma'am is daughter of uh, Dr. C.K. Kurana ma'am and uh, she is principal of one of the reputed school in South Delhi. Beautiful, beautiful. But all students, the simple first thing is let them bring out the plastic from home to the school. Let them have a uh, collection center at our school. The school at least have 1,000 students or 2,000 students is not. Those 1,000 houses are clean. 
they don't throw it on the road and you become the model to the other schools and therefore now you can never invite other schools also we can very easily collect the waste plastic at only for the through the students uh, generate definitely because they can bring out from the house all the chocolate paper biscuit paper the most everything they can give and school nss organization can collect it and uh, we have various i i have i have some known persons there i can give you uh, those the numbers also you can talk to them they will collect send it to the send it to various places i daily have got many people like that no no you can do please just start i am here to help you so manya has a question what steps can we as an individual take to do plastic waste management at our level first have a garbage proper garbage bag when you take a chocolate what you are go to the bag it should be put in the dustbin in the house help your parents to keep the plastic separately and keep it and then find the method of where that's it all you can organize a center at a club in your school plastic management club you can collect all the plastic and once you collect you can shed it shedding you don't bother i will i will give some address they will come and collect it and take it for road making today i need today 450 tons of shredded plastic to be used in the border road i am sending from madurai if it is available in delhi what a wonderful it very 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 useful for me please join join in the movement sir shubhangi has a question what were some of the obstacles you had faced while working for this great solution <laughs> i'm like not, not 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 clear not clear some the summons is there please so i'll repeat the question shubhangi has a question that what were the obstacles that you had faced while working for this solution problems faced no yes sir problem yes, sir. problem do come god is there to help us i always put i have see i had never met never made any attempt to meet anybody but people came to me to my room to my seat and helped me and uh, i i will say one small incident because students will be enjoying this incident uh, i was i had developed it after my meeting with uh, our uh, ex president abdul abdul kalam he asked me to lay the road at your college and i have prepared to lay the road and i talked to the contractor and i showed him i showed him that i have got the plastic load the contractor said no sir that is not possible i have seen in japan i have seen in germany i have seen in china nothing is possible then i took him to the lab i showed him how it developed after seeing that sir i am joining you sir then we we started laying the road at, at my college and abdul kalam specifically told don't try to lay the road outside you can lay only at home they will not allow you you lay at your home i tried but the problem initially what i tried was i took the plastic dissolved in bitumen and mixed it and laid the road that was our initial method so i have to dissolve the bitumen so actually when i start laying the road i take the plastic and put in the hard bitumen i'm not able to stir it the whole problem if you don't stir it no no so thousands of people are looking at me i i lost everything what happened suddenly my uh the department attendant came for sir for my help sir may i help you he went to the lab brought two beakers one beaker he took bitumen another beaker he took a molten plastic put it in a bucket stirred it and gave it to me sir this is ready come on let the road he has given the idea immediately i let the road but for him i could not be here today and now and then i changed the whole technology let us not mix the plastic in bitumen let us coat plastic because when we mix the plastic in bitumen you are able to do only 3 to 4% when we coat it on the, on the store we are able to do up to 15% so consumption of plastic increases so so that is the problem that is the god came in the form of our tender solve the problem therefore like that many many problems are there but when you are sincere god comes to you and he comes as a helper at even that uh, that is how i see today it is not a philosophy it is a practical experience i can list out every ever step by step about how the, the invisible force came and helped me at every point yes sir sure we all agree with you 
and that was an interesting story sir <laughs> and motiv motivating one also so ikra has a question sir where can we see plastone in the next 10 years pardon 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 the, 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 uh, i'm not here clear gazal uske pehle shashi chavla ma'am has one question na so okay, has okay. anyone investigated the effect of these plastic construction materials on animal and plant health Oh, again, the question is not clear. What, Has what? anyone investigated the ah. effect of these plastic construction materials mm -hmm. on animal and plant health? Ma'am yes, from microbiology please. has asked no, this question. No, no, please. The question is, plastic construction material, plastic material. What is the difference between plastic construction material and plastic material? Plastic construction material is different. Plastic materials, of course, animals do take plastic. And they eat without knowing what it is, but there there is, there is no. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. So there is no. Actually, plastic is not a poison. Remember that. Unwanted material goes in the stomach, occupies some place, affects the this is the digestive system. It is not a poison. So the why the why it comes to their uh, notice is. When we put some food inside the packet and then throw it, they are tempted tempted to take the food, but they don't know separate from the bag. They take along with that. But plastic is not a poison. But unwanted material which go inside, it creates some uh, problem for the kind of the general digestion cards. That's all. By itself, it's not a poison. Sir, ma'am has asked particularly for plastone. Is it having some bad effect on plants and animals? Oh, how can it is a plastone? I, I, you, you saw the plastone. The pl plastone you see here. This is a beautiful plastone. This is this this is tested with the thirty-two tests like acid, base, etc., etc., and we stood everything. And our international company is now offering this for take for using our uh, table top. No problem with this plastone. Nothing comes out. Now you can nothing dissolves from this. So no problem. Plastic will not come out. Nothing will come out. No problem at all. Shashi, ma'am, I hope uh, sir has answered your question. Can I speak? Can I speak? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Uh, sir, thank you so much for this wonderful talk. Actually, mm -hmm. we have been working on. some uh, environmental awareness program and all we have a small project so that way i see really a very good solution uh, from the plastic but my only worry always has been that we have been using plastic for making uh, like you have said that you are making it for a toilet etc so i just wonder will it emit ever fumes or anything which may show any a uh, long time effect on health maybe after 10 years we realize that something has gone wrong so that is what my main worry is otherwise no, it's no, a no. brilliant it is, a, it, it is an imagination one something will happen no only time is no, the plastic is not volatile plastic melts only at 160 degree it is not born plastic it is not giving to going to give any gas so even it is exposed to sunlight it is only 50 to 55 degree even in exposed nothing is going to happen so no 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 in fact it, there may be some cooling effect may be there i can say therefore there is no problem with respect to so far god has not shown me any defect with respect to either the road or the plaster with respect to environment No problem. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the answer. So Vandana, ma'am, has also something to say. First of all, she is praising you. She says it was very nice and informative talk, sir. And she she, wants uh, to she can uh, guzzle. I think Vandana, yes. ma'am, can also be allowed to speak. Yes, ma'am. She is absolutely. Ma'am, please do. Vandana. Vandana, yes. ma'am. Yes, first of all, very many congratulations to the department and sir. It was in such an enlightening talk because I think it is a problem which needs to be tackled from multi dimensions, and that is this dimension is one dimension is awareness and then finding for the solution. 
Sir, there was an initiative in uh, MCF, that is the Municipal Authority of Faridabad, that is a nearby place in uh, to Delhi, and there they had asked to collect uh, these wrappers by the students and faculty members for a month or two months. But only problem which we are facing is the uh, collection from their side. Like collection and awareness is something that needs to be channelized. Exactly. Like exactly. Here, exactly. Now that's so, all. I would like to add some information here. Many top companies of India. They are now contacting me to, yes. by extending their help to collect the waste. So that they will say, be waste. They, 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 say they, they will organize different groups. They will organize help for the financial aid and they will try to join in the movement of collection of work. I said, we will help you. We will show you how to do that. That movement has already started. Many top companies have come uh, to, to uh, this weather. But what you said is hundred percent correct. Collection, creating awareness, collection of waste, and this is important. And then motivation of the contractor to do the work. That will that will come automatically, no problem. Because the contractor says, "Sir, your road life is fifteen years. Whereas I want a road only for one year, and only I can lay repeatedly get more money." So I said, "Why do you bother about the same road? Go to the India has got 44 lakhs. You can lay any road anywhere, and don't think you making money is here important. Providing better road is more important. So this is a practical problem which we come across." Yes, sir. So, sir, your mentorship will really help our students because we have very young, enthusiastic students who can take lead in this. And I think if you help us in that, that will be wonderful. Thank you so definitely, much. Definitely, sir. Definitely, I would like to add. Uh, so, because just I, I say this is only a seed that has grown. It should come on the banyan, banyan tree. What I am talking about is only about the uh, films of thickness of hundred. Uh, more, when you go to domestic appliance, when you go to chairs, when you go to electronic gadgets, when you go to uh, the um, um, uh, paper, um, paper material, the uh, various of um, the, the what, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the what, um, uh, I'm not sure. I suddenly get the name of that the packet, but uh, tetra pack, tetra pack. You have to attend these things. One out to submit for all those things. Many things. You go, your students can contact me. I can give some guidance on here. You could do the work there itself, and we we can develop definitely interaction and try to do something useful. So I'm I am available. I am ready. If you if you can use me, I am doubly happy. Thank you, sir, and thank you, Vandana, ma'am, and thank you, yes, ma'am, and thank you, everyone, for your intriguing questions, and thank you so much, sir, for answering them. Now, I'd like to request Priya, ma'am, daughter of Dr. C. K. Khurana, ma'am, to say a few words. Priya, ma'am, please. Well, Dr. Vasudevan, it was really lovely to hear you. It was such. Not only is the topic so wonderful. and it is so contextual and something that the entire world is talking about but you said don't ban plastic use more plastic you just converted it into an opportunity that rather than thinking of it as a problem we should think of it as some opportunities and find a solution it is a solution in itself so you just turn the table around on us and it was so that is that is a, that is a real case actually yeah <laughs> it is so lovely the way you told us and actually sir i was just thinking when i heard you through that i would really like if you could find some time and talk to children the young children of school so that they are the ones they are the citizens of tomorrow and they are the ones who will be actually laying down these roads and you know bringing about segregation of waste even today segregation of waste is not something that is being taken up seriously so and you are already talking about the next level implementing only plastic and using it so usefully so if perhaps you could enthuse the young minds through even a video call even a video talking session i think it will be really lovely because so definitely and um, and the way you described everything then plastone and the materials you have made and even the low cost uh, the toilet and everything wonderful no wonder sir you are called the plastic man of india really bravo it's really kudos to wonderful work it's lovely it's all god's blessing help me simply It is he who directed, he who is the idea. Yeah. We are, we are, we are, we are want to be a student and servants of God. We can do many things. Definitely. Yeah, wonderful. Actually, whenever we go to the market, they they are selling these ten rupee, twenty rupee cloth bag now, and they are always telling us to dissuade the use of plastic so that 
we are using cloth bags but now you made us realize that perhaps storing that plastic and giving it away but there has to be a process to this where do we store where do we give it so as you said that the corporates are approaching you maybe in times to come that process will also be laid down in some systematic way where we'll all know where to put our plastic and how it reaches to your and then corporate usage and industrial usage of this can be wonderful so it was really lovely enriching amazing out of the world to listen to you and how very simply you explained it even the ppt was so well done you had contrasted what man gives and what nature has given to us those contrasts were also very lovely wonderful thank you so much sir thank you i will definitely get in touch with you sir for please, please, please. motivate the students let them do some work please Yes, sir. Those young soldiers are the one who really have to come to the fore <laughs> and uh, start off this mission at a national level. Definitely, I would also take the opportunity to thank the chemistry department because it's not that I just see my mother's picture there and I am remembering her. The words of kindness that you spoke, the spirit that you have really kept alive. It not only takes us through the memory lane of nostalgia; she actually stood for all of that. such a vibrant vivacious person she was and you still remember her the way she was it is so lovely i just wish the awardees of that scholarship whenever it comes they keep on growing in their interest and learning and the love for chemistry keeps on developing every day thank you so much everyone thank you it was an amazing session thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you i just take a minute uh, to yes, thank sir yes ma'am uh i would like just take a minute to thank sir for such a wonderful lecture you know it has not been uh, it is not less than a ted talk we are you know uh, used to listening to ted talks so this is also a motivational talk on uh, you know plastics and we are all taking a very good message from this lecture not to ban but to plan and i have always been you know uh, i always loved plastics and you know i was wondering where to keep my certificates if at all you know if <laughs> you know uh, so you know this has been very good very interesting lecture and then uh, so we have to slowly see how we could uh, aggregate all those plastics and then put them to use so as uh, people have been asking you so we would really be uh, happy to enter into some kind of a collaboration with your institute sir Uh, so that you know our children can come to you for say summer internships or they can do some if you could suggest some small projects for them they can do it in the college itself uh, with your advice you know something of that kind i think you know we can uh, yes, there are many processes you know uh, it's a, under nvs there is a ministry of environmental community we have where they are conducting two months course for the to graduate students unemployed graduate students when we give two months training on waste management along with not only plastic but also the we give not only theory we take them to the place concerned show them how to do how to do by the time they come out they will they can become an entrepreneur by themselves oh. uh, that's to that extent that we are doing good. this course yeah. periodically we are conducting the children now we have children uh, last uh, last month we had a children of delhi this this year now we are running the course the yeah, students from bihar sudan uh, hyderabad students are coming here so like that that is another opportunity they can also come and work in my laboratory i am very doubly happy to do if the students are available i can do more work <laughs> i am always interested to do more work okay sir so we will definitely write to you and then yeah. we can you know work on it you know how please, to go please ma'am please ma'am thank, so, thank you. you so much sir thank, thank you thank for you. such an interesting informative talk namaskar sir thank you so much sir this lecture is beyond everyone's expectation and like you explained every every experiment every innovation in terms of bhagavad gita that is matlab something we cannot even think See, you are, you just tell us the true meaning of bhagavad gita first time like na we always have the spiritual meaning of bhagavad gita but the meaning we can have in terms of chemistry also something something i think we none of us have ever thought bhagavad gita we can sorry for sorry for the same video i teach bhagavad gita to my students for the past 45 years and teach only not so for the practical way of doing this 
therefore that that gives a strength today i am here this moment because of bhagavad gita that so krishna says i am with you so i am able to look at that for and more than anything else gita has arranged this <laughs> nice sir that is that is added part for me when i saw the name gita i was always excited <laughs> okay sir i will be connecting with you for having certain type of internship if it would work out Yes, so sir. we will connect with you later yes, thank you definitely. so much sir thank you so much we don't have enough words to say thanks oh. over to you guys let us let us all join together to do something good for the country yes sir sure sir guys all over you. to you thank you thank you thank you ma'am uh, thank you ajanti ma'am and priya ma'am and thank you so much sir now the virtual stage is open for all the teachers please you may come forward to share your memories and experiences these teachers gazel i think uh, uh, maximum have already said okay. you may call ananya ananya okay okay now i would like to invite miss ananya thukral our vice president to propose a vote of thanks uh, hi no uh, audible yes yes you can oh. with this we come to an end to this program i propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the entire raskandhayan team mm -hmm. I express heartfelt gratitude to Dr. R. Vasudevan sir for taking our time to grace this occasion. Your thoughts have enlightened our minds and have shown us a new path, a new perspective to look at plastic as an important resource rather than considering it a mere waste. Sir, your words have indeed inspired all of us to rethink and research. Thank you, sir, for your very interesting and thought-provoking address, as well as for the beautiful presentation slides. Thank you, sir, for patiently answering all the questions asked by our audience. This gave a deeper insight to what we learned today. We will surely implement the advice you gave us in real life. I would also like to thank. our principal professor pramila kumar for her constant support guidance and motivation a special thanks to priya ma'am for joining us today in this virtual space my deepest appreciation okay, for a super innovative nice. my deepest appreciation for our super innovative teachers for taking out time to be present here today with us i thank our teacher in charge Dr. Uttara Datta, ma'am, and all the fa faculty members of the department for always being encouraging and cooperative. We are honored to have you all with us today. I would also like to thank our loving teachers, Geeta, ma'am, and Taruna, ma'am, for their untiring efforts. I would like to thank the union members whose dedicated efforts and proactiveness made this event a big success. Our sincere gratitude goes to the audience for being patient throughout. Thank you for joining everyone. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and take care. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, Gita. Thank you, Gita. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anand. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Anand. With this, we come to an end of this event. I request everyone to switch on their cameras for a group photograph and thank you sir thank you thank you for the everyone please switch on your cameras everyone see sir
थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन थैंक यू थैंक यू so we are ending the meeting thank you thank you thank you sir thank you, thank you. we'll meet sometime please yes sir god god bless yes, you sir. thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you sir